To go back to the beginning of the war, perhaps you remember that Hitler made a speech to his people in Danzig, September 1939, which was broadcast to America and elsewhere. The verses I shall read next are a little literal transcript of my own experiences that day, mixed with foreboding of things to come and, shall I say, a sickly attempt at humor at the end. This morning, Hitler spoke in Danzig. We heard his voice, a man of genius. That is, of amazing ability, courage, devotion, poured on a sick child's soul, heard clearly through the Da Gra, a sick child wailing and dancing, invoking destruction and wailing at it. Here, the day was extremely hot. About noon, a south wind, like a blast from hell's mouth, spilled a slight rain on the parched land, and at five, a light earthquake danced the house, no harm done. Tonight I have been amusing myself watching the blood-red moon droop slowly into black sea through bursts of dry lightning and distant thunder. Well, the day is a poem, but too much like one of Jeffers's, crusted with blood and barbaric symbols, painful to excess, inhuman as a hawk's cry. The sick humor of these last lines refers, of course, to some long narrative poems I have written which seem to have more than enough of blood and pain in them. <laughs> 